Hello, Arabella. Hello, hello. Hello, good, good night. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, and you? I'm doing great. <laughs> How's the weather around you guys? How is the weather? Mm, where I live, it's very, very cold. It's cold. not raining, but it's cold. It's very cold. What about windy? Is it windy? No, it is. It isn't not. It is not. Uh -huh. It isn't or it is not good. Really? So how was your long weekend? Was good. good. What do yeah. you do? What do you do? Mm, I I stay with my mom in the house. Oh really? Didn't go out? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, Daniela. Welcome. Veronica. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Ah. Uh was a, a good day it was a good day okay why yeah um because i i have to uh, i have to the and was i don't know uh, was uh, too simple uh -huh. simple because she can she can open a, uh, I don't know, say cuenta, bank. I don't know, did you? I, you got me lost, okay. <laughs> she, she, Sorry. okay, it was a great day because I made successful business. Because my grandmother can, can, uh, oh, couldn't uh, open the- A bank account? A bank account, yeah, because, um, the uh, that was, I don't know, say, it. we have we have gone to the bank three times. Excellent, we have gone to the bank three times, okay. Yeah. And finally, they opened, yes, finally, her, they opened her bank yeah. account. Finally, yeah. they opened her bank account, okay, great. That was good, okay, good job. Uh, Max, good evening, how are you? I told him your last name was Hernandez, and it's actually Mendez, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Mendez. Excellent. Okay. Me comprendes? Mendez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Max? Kind of busy today. I've uh, been running around all day. Not really? Why is that? I had to check all the printers. The printers? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So you work as a technician, right? Yes. Good. Okay. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Bueno. Good evening. Bueno, bueno. Good evening. Welcome. Madeline. Good evening, teacher. Madeline, can you move your your camera because we we always see you like this uh, yes yeah. okay yes. let's move on okay let's do it it's it's good right now i'm gonna yeah. talk to you uh madeline i'm gonna talk to you with my eyebrows okay <laughs> are you ready yes, let's ready. do it <laughs> she didn't get it okay let's go so today oh, we have to you. talk we have to talk about a very interesting topic. Well, some very interesting topics. We're gonna cover at least three topics today because this week we have to cover units, um, I'm sorry, it's not units, uh, sections, sections two and three. We need to finish them. And if you haven't finished the platform, 
um, section one, I will recommend you strongly to do it. So okay. right now I'm gonna move to a magisterial, a it magisterial can. class. The platform is good right now. Yes, man, it is working perfectly. I, fine. You told us it's, it's bad and yeah, I remember. On the Friday. Was bad, was on bad. Thursday, yes, on Thursday it was bad. But they fixed it the same day, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was fixed on Thursday. I can hear myself through someone's microphone. And that's weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's start talking about gerunds as subjects and objects. Okay. Please pay close attention to this topic because there is something that some academies or some courses don't teach and is generalizing. I was talking, I was talking to um, a class for a class, um, a student today about this fact that sometimes you are not teach, you are not taught, sorry, you are not taught how to generalize. And this is a problem that we have in this group. We are always adding the, okay? The people talk about, hmm. So then you can say people talks about, okay? Let's see the topic so you can get a better idea, okay? I'll mute you, please pay attention, take notes. If you have any questions, write it down and we can go over the questions at the end of the video. Okay, there's a lot to cover today, guys. So please pay attention. Welcome to this class. In this class, what we want to do is we want to practice gerund phrases. And so we're going to learn how gerunds are used as subjects and also how they're used as objects. And uh, you might have seen and you might be a little bit confused about this whole deal here. So, for example, whenever you see, uh, like at hotels, you see no smoking, uh, no parking, all that. You might think that that is wrong, but actually it's not. And then we're going to try to make sense of all of that here. Um, and then, so let me give you an example on how this is useful. So we're going to talk a little bit about politics uh, a little bit. Uh, not going into details, of course, but just some general things about it. Uh, so running for office. Well, look at a couple of sentences here and then uh, just uh, see some common things that politicians say whenever they're running for office. Well, and the, the first thing is voting is an important responsibility. Um, improving our schools, fighting for a new hospital, etc. So let me quickly outline that this is a gerund. So a gerund is simply a verb which uh, you um, add ing to, all right? And then, and of course, there's some spelling things about it that you might have learned in previous classes. But here are some examples on how gerunds are, are used either as subjects of sentences. So for example, voting is an important responsibility. Voting is the subject of our sentence. So it's not acting as a verb. Let's discuss improving our school. So as you can see there, we're using that as an object. And so let's try to make sense of all of this. A couple of more examples. Choosing a candidate takes time. And um, let me point out um, the gerunds here. So choosing a candidate, that's, that's the subject of our sentence. I enjoy working for the people. Okay, that's uh, working. In that case, it's not acting as a verb. It's acting as the object of our sentence. Uh, do you resent paying higher taxes? Again, paying is not the verb. It's, it's, it's the gerund that is being used um, as, a, as an object there. So now that I gave a few examples on how gerunds are used as subjects and how they're used as objects, I would like to go into details now and talk a little bit about the usage of gerunds. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is that uh, in this case, in this lesson, we're using gerunds as nouns. So we're using them as people, places, or things. And so we're familiar with the verb work, for example. And if we include ing, then we turn that into a gerund, right? But now we're going to use this gerund as either a subject of a sentence or as the object of, a, of the sentence. 
and that's what we're going to learn. So let's take a look at the, another gerund. So for example, the birth pay, I'm sorry, the birth pay, we turn that into a gerund by simply adding ing, and then we have pay in improve. And of course, there are some spelling things that you should have learned in previous classes. Uh, and uh, we remove that e, for example, then we add ing, and so we have improvement. Let's go into some details now, and let's talk a little bit about gerunds, and particularly gerunds being used as subject of sentences. So on the screen right now, we can see that a gerund can be the subject of a sentence, and a couple of grammar rules to learn is that it is always going to be singular. It's always going to act as a third person. And so let's look at that. Voting is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. And as you can see, those are subjects of sentences. And uh, the idea here is that this is going to be singular. So we're always gonna have a singular verb. Like in this case, voting is an important responsibility. Okay, I'm pausing the video because I want to see um, your reaction so far. What do you think? What have you got? Are you confused? Is this clear? Do you remember how to modify a verb adding ing? That's easy. That's yeah. easy. Yes. That's yeah. easy, right? Easy, okay. It's clear. Yeah. Now, can somebody explain to me what we're doing here? Mm -hmm. We are using the, the verb in gerund like a noun. Excellent. What do we have to do? What do we have to respect when using the verb in gerund as a subject? I'm sorry, somebody's talking yeah. loudly. It's always singular. Sí. It's always singular. Very good, Alicia, or who talked? I'm sorry. It's always in third person. In third person, exactly. Because you're talking about a noun. A noun. I mean, this is not like if you say voting, how will you translate voting in this sentence? Voting is an important responsibility. How do you translate that to Spanish? Votar es una responsabilidad. Importante. Very good. That's right. So you don't say votando is, right? Okay. Exactly. What about choosing a candidate takes time? Elegir un candidato toma tiempo. Excellent. Oh my God, Daniela, she's on fire tonight. I like that. Very good, Daniela. Great job. Okay. I think so. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, let's move on. So picture picture this is the same thing. So if you say voting makes me cry. You heard? I didn't use the verb to be, but I use a third person singular form, right? So I can say uh, cooking, uh, cooking doesn't work for me. <laughs> Hey, cooking doesn't come out good um, for me, yeah, to me. No, yeah, it doesn't come out good for me. I'm not too good at cooking. Listen, I'm not too good at cooking. So very important, uh, gerunds can be used as nouns, as objects when they go after a preposition, as objects in the middle of the sentence, and there could be direct and in, un, indirect objects. But that's a different topic. It's very a little bit complex for some people. So let's keep going. I uh, will just jump through the video so you can see what is uh, what are the examples, right? So let's not confuse gerunds with the present progressive verb form. You remember the present progressive? Really quick, let me see. Um, who else is here? Nineveh, do you remember the present progressive? I feel, I'm not sure. Is this same the present continuous? Yes. No. It yeah. is the <laughs> same thing. Yeah, some people okay. call it present progressive, other people call it present continuous. And don't call it, 
what you don't have to do is call it the ing yes. <laughs> okay good can you give me an example Nineveh, uh, with the um, present progressive um, excellent Julieta. i am i am listening class right now <laughs> i'm listening to the class perfect i'm listening to the class right now Excellent. Good. Violetta gave an example there on the chat. That's amazing. Let me read it again. I just barely read it. Uh, it says, cooking is a satisfying experience. Oh, that's very fancy. <laughs> that sounds Teacher, very fancy. Yeah. I have a doubt. Uh, is it how you understand or how you know when this the, is not a bear? And two different when the the very is ing and is a noun. Excellent, good question. Thank you. So, you know how to modify the verbs? We said, if you noticed um, here, it goes at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, number one it goes at the beginning of the sentence. Number two, you use the following. Um, verb in third person if you are saying something about that verb in ing as a noun so let me um, write example uh, write that part so the first thing is the verb that follows the ing verb is on third person hmm? um for example, you could say running makes you uh, thin. I have been seeing British series. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Still so fancy. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, my God. That's really good. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Running makes, makes you thin. Um, Hmm. Now, keep an eye on the following example um, that I'm writing and I will finish writing someday. Okay, I'm complicating my life there. Watching British series makes you sound smarter okay it's, it's true it's true have you watched the the one minute show i oh, know that just a minute i will recommend you that violetta just a minute that's crazy you have a minute to talk without repeating any word i mean you cannot repeat one word if you repeat a word then is somebody else's uh, uh, turn. So look at that example. Writing British series makes you, I'm sorry, watching, did I write it right? Yeah. Watching British series makes you sound smarter. So watching, Veronica, will be the, um, the subject of this sentence. And I'm saying about it that watching makes you sounds matter third person makes you sounds matter okay could you translate that 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 sentence okay anybody who can who can help me who can translate the sentence to spanish watching british series it's perfectly perfect okay oh my god uh -huh. uh, bien ver Ver cuando uno no sabe, trata de traducirlo como viendo series. Ajá. Uh -huh. Le dan ganas de hacerlo de esa manera, pero solamente uh -huh. es decir ver. Exacto. Ver series uh -huh. de Inglaterra te hace británicas. sonar más inteligente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ver series británicas te hace sonar más inteligente. Exactly. Good job, Max. Yeah. Uh, but you... it's not perfectly perfect. It's perfectly splendor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird, but it sounded proper. Okay, so, uh, yo solía hacer eso, Max, exactly. I used to think 
in the ing in the spanish you know a lot so i used to say viendo series británicas te hace como yo aprendí solito entonces it was more difficult so okay good now that works as a subject at the beginning of the sentence veronica and everybody and you make the third person verb and then you have the examples when um the um the the subject i'm sorry the ing form of the verb becomes an object when it becomes an object it could be a direct object i even wrote it subject complement uh, object complement and you can say he hates waking up early i wrote this before he hates waking up early Okay, he hates waking up early, for example. Are you looking at the chat, Madeline, everybody? Yes, do you see the Zoom chat? Yep, okay. Yes. Yeah, I hope you're getting it, you're getting it. I'm, I'm sending you the, I'm sending you the examples on the Zoom chat. Okay, he hates waking up early, for example. That wouldn't be a, a subject that will be an object, a direct object. What he hates is waking up early. Uh, another example, I love smiling at people. I love smiling at people. Again, I cannot say, yo amo sonriendo a la gente, right? What would be the proper translation of that sentence? Mm -hmm. Amo hacer sonreír a las personas. Mm -hmm. Repeat oh. the sentence in English, please. I, it's on the, on the chat. I love smiling at people. Ah, me encanta sonreírle a la gente. Mm -hmm. Sonreírle. And I'm using ING, right? So you can get confused. Uh, now, a quick reminder. Um, smiling people. At people. It's smiling at people. Mm -hmm. Smiling, smiling. No, smiling, no. Smile them. Uh -uh. I love smiling at people. Mm, smiling to people. Yeah, it's the same. Smiling at people. I love smiling at people. So Smile go them. Uh, smile to them, smile at them, smile at them, smile at them. So you, you see anybody in the street, Madeline, and you go like, okay, that's you, Madeline. Come on, she gone. Madeline, are you okay? No, I am not okay. What's wrong with you? Are you sick or? I'm not well right now. Oh. Um, I was a, a problem right here. Uh, ten, 10 minutes ago uh, before the, the, class. the class. And okay. I don't see well. Um, but I, in, a, in a minute, in a minute, I, I, will, I will be right. Um, you will be back on your feet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will be back on my feet. Hope you get back on your feet soon. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you. Okay. So, as subjects, easy. Easy. You are describing the subject as usual. Okay. <clears throat> That's working with the verb as a subject. So voting is, in, is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. And again, third person on the verb, let's move on. Now, don't get confused with the present progressive or present continuous. I have a quick question for all of you. What is the auxiliary for the present continuous? Auxiliary, a verb to be. The verb Excellent. to be. Good. There you go. Never say ing, please. Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you. So yes, don't okay. forget. <laughs> you say I am okay. not. Am I? Yes, Max. Can I say something like uh, smiling people mm. seems to be always happy? Uh, hmm. Good point. How do you qualify people who smiles a lot? Can I can I use that phrase? Smiley. That correct. Smiley. And you say smiley. Smiley, smiley people. Uh, yeah. yeah? Uh -huh. people. That would be the adjective. Smiley people. Yeah. What do you say? Smiley people. Seems to be always happy. Yeah, seems to be always happy. Mm -hmm. Smiley people seems to be always happy. Perfect. That's the way. Okay. What is, is an important responsibility? And we continue. So make sure you don't get confused with the present continuous. That's like the main idea here uh, to dif differentiate um, between okay, the present it's a, progressive it's the of a sentence. and how to use the gerunds as subjects. Now let's look at some exercises on this video that if you watched it, you may have found, you may have exercised as well using the gerunds as subjects. So for example, windsurfing is very exciting. And you will be requested up next to fulfill six exercises, okay? Be creative and fill in the blanks using gerunds. The first example is windsurfing is very exciting. The second one says, can you read it? Can you see it? Yes. yes or is it, or is, it, is it too blurry? No. It's is that okay? It's okay. Clear. Okay, go ahead on your notebook. You have six samples. If you don't get a word, let me know. Everything's clear. Remember, we're using gerunds. Don't say, your face makes me laugh. No, we need a <laughs> gerund, okay? Even if it is true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find it's true. Right? Okay. The perp? What is? The verb. The verb, any verb. Be creative. Make sense. Create. Make Create. sense. Yeah. Idea. Make sense. Um. You need to use ing, Madeline. Um, ing. Yes, I know. The verb. Yeah, I add add ing, but I I don't know what the verb. What is the verb? It made me laugh. Figure it out. I cannot create. <laughs> think, think, think. Alicia, help me. <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking. <laughs> Um, teacher, how yep. do you say contaminar? Pollute. Seeing that pollute. Seeing that pollute. Ah. pollute. Thank you. Let me get the spelling for you because I forgot it. It's P O L L U T, I think. Great. Walking makes me laugh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Why not? <sighs> I 
Rising gives me a headache. Thinking gives me a headache. Fighting. Fighting. You're done? Okay. Fighting gives me a headache. Fighting. For lit. Fighting. Thank you. Fighting? Yeah. Or, Fighting. Argu or arguing. Arguing. I think. I think. It's I think. Ar arguing. Look. Arguing or fighting? Argu no. Ar arguing. Arguing. Yeah. Arguing. So you have argue? Give me a headache. Argue. Okay. You add ing. Arguing. 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 Argue, oh, you, you. Arguing gives me a headache. Okay. Arguing gives me a headache. Argue, arguing. Okay. So you know the difference, right? Arguing is is a discussion without fists in both. No, fighting is uh, with bread, the, the hands. With fists. With, fist. with no, fists no. or hands. Uh, no. Give... Or even scratching someone. Yeah. Or grabbing no. the hair. Worse. Fighting. <laughs> Fighting. Okay. Worse. Horse. Okay, I finish. Great. Worse. Great, Worse. Alicia. Okay, Aravela. Let's start with Aravela, okay? Um, give me your first example, number one. Okay. Um... Someone's watching TV and is watching CNN. I see your mirror. <laughs> Seeing you at that mirror give... <laughs> makes me laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, you could say, you could say. Watching TV. I don't know, whatever you want. Come on, Aravela. Give me give me one. Mm, okay. In... Uh, uh, yet, okay. Okay, think about it. Think about it. Madeline, give me an example with number one. And number one is a walk. I, I told you uh, walking makes me laugh. That's weird. Okay, but it's okay. Walking makes me laugh. Okay, let's go with number two, Max. Starting give me headache. <laughs> okay, starting gives me headache a headache yeah i was missing a headache. Uh, a, headache. Sure. a headache okay number four alicia uh, number, number three? three number three number oh, sorry six. yeah number three uh-huh yeah. uh, fighting isn't polite excellent fighting fighting isn't, okay, fighting isn't polite isn't polite I cannot understand. No, isn't polite. Isn't polite. Veronica, number four. Uh, he seen is popular in my country. Come again, please. He seen. He seen. Yeah, he seen. He seen. Oh, whistling. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Is that what you found? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I found like a hissing, H-I-S-S-E-I-N-G. Okay, come again, H-I-S-S-I-N-G. Like that, hissing, okay, that's new for me. Hissing is popular isn't, in isn't my... Like what a... <laughs> yeah. Whistling. Whistling. Uh, that, I, I, I knew it as as whistling. Can you blow my whistle? Blow my whistle. Let it go. Hissing. Ah, it's new. It's new bird for me. Whistling. Hissing yeah. sounds like what a snake does. Uh huh. What? Yeah, is what a snake does. That's weird. Maybe is ah okay. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Violeta, come again. Maybe it's, it's like... Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> oh, oh, true. Is that what it is, Veronica? I'm not sure, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I think Violeta is right. It's like... Ch -ch -ch. But we can change like a whistling. No, but it, that, that sounds whistling. Uh, whistling will be <laughs> Silvano, right? Silvano. Okay. okay. See? Okay. Violeta, your turn. Um, number five. Yeah. Hey, I'm not... I'm not ready, but I think uh, like like fire, I don't know how to say fire, firing. No, it's not firing. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be firing. Hmm. Not, Do you want to say something like to burning, say. burning? Yes, wood. burning, burning. Burning destroys the, the environment. But what? Burning what? Or just burning anything? Burn everything because <laughs> Okay, let me you destroy. <laughs> yeah, you destroy the uh, ozone layer. Environment. Come again, Max? Uh, I don't throw in throwing garbage. The, the environment, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The forest. Burning burning forest. Okay, burning wood, burning no, trash. Here in El Salvador, there's still people burning trash. Yes, yes, my neighbor today. Uh, oh my God. I have a smoke all my apartment. You have smoke inside your apartment? Yes, all my flat were smoke. Smoke, oh my God. Yes, not, Madeline? Not driving. And not driving well is is very dangerous. Can I can, can be dangerous? Not can dry, okay. Can be dangerous. You got it. Yes, I like that. Okay, so let me write it. Not driving well. Not driving well. Not driving. Can you give me another adjective? Not driving well. Not driving carefully. Carefully. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Careful. Okay. Yeah, not driving well, not driving Daniel. carefully. Uh -huh. Teacher on number five, I wrote a litter, littering, 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 littering. Yes, littering. Let's hold on, littering, littering. Littering. I don't remember. Not litter. No, not littering. 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 You got it. Littering. And that's a new word. Do you know, guys? Littering. Litter. Littering. Litter is like 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 garbage. Or trash is the no, action no. is the action it's of the throwing action. yeah you will oh, actually okay. thank you max yeah. you will actually find that letter that you will find that yeah. sign that sign on the back of many stores in the united states a lot of gas stations you know stores on, on bridges when you go to the beach on bridges oh, on the beach true and it says littering littering and it's, it has a, no. Um, Littering is, it's uh, tirar basura. Yes. Or, okay. Because a lot of litter, litter is basura. Okay. But it's like Literally. A <laughs> like, like Max example, right. Yes, Arabella. Um, I, NG is when, uh, ahorita estoy haciendo la acción, verdad? Mm -mm. Okay, no. yes, yes. <coughs> yes. Okay, no. como lo mencionábamos antes, el presente continuo es el que lleva ING. So, sí, ahora verá, en el momento la acción se está desarrollando ahorita. Eso es presente continuo. Pero lo explico súper rápido, no hay problema. Para lo que estamos viendo, estamos viendo solamente el verbo con ING como el sujeto de la oración. Ok. For example, studying... Gives me a headache. No digo estudiando me da un dolor de cabeza. No. Estudiar me da un dolor de cabeza. Ok. Es como decir estudiar es un dolor de cabeza. Studying gives me a headache. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. But uh, teacher, you always have to uh, add ing when you use like a noun. When you use the verb as a noun. Uh, no, I'm sorry. As a... 
as a subject. As a subject. Not okay. always. You don't need to use the uh, verb to be. Look at the examples. Look at the examples. Uh, I could tell no. you. I could tell you. The ing. You're right. For example, seeing you. Seeing you. Seeing you makes me sick. That would be something very heavy. Seeing you makes me sick. Like that. I'm going to write it. I don't I'm not want to go. I don't want to go on the polit political side, you know. That's what I will say to somebody. Seeing you makes me sick. Eh, seeing you made me sick. That's very rude. Why? That's rude. Or what about okay, let's look at the other the other the opposite side. Meeting you very polite is always a pleasure. Is isn't isn't your that's is a lie. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie, yeah. Okay. Okay. You got it? You got the examples? Okay. Okay. I don't know. Hold on. Let me play for you this um, again. Let's go. Audio. Isn't polite. What is popular in your country? What destroys the environment? Okay. And what uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher, let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. For me, learning math gives me a headache. Using yourself on in class isn't polite. Playing basketball is popular in my country. Burning fossil fuels destroys the environment. Not taking action on weapons of mass destruction can be dangerous. Now, let me talk about the last part of our class and what we want to do next is we want to learn how gerunds can also be the objects of sentences. And so let me give you a few examples about that. So we heard politicians say, I suggest improving our schools. So as you can see, the suggest is our verb and improvement becomes the object of our sense. So it's no longer a verb. I enjoy working for the people. This is what politicians say. And what we want to do here is we want to use gerunds as objects. So they both enjoy. What do they enjoy? They enjoy watching the birds. And then they, I mean, you could you could have said uh, different things. So what I will also like for you. Okay, now we have a different example using the gerunds um, as objects. So let's go with the first one. Just say it. I need a ride to the airport. I don't mind. Okay, I, again, I need a ride to the airport. I don't mind. Mm. Taking. Taking. Causing. Causing what? Daniela, keep going. <gasps> I. Pain I don't mind. Pain. Good, Denise. I, I don't mind paying you. I don't mind paying too much money. I don't mind paying a lot of money. Paying I don't mind paying money. too much money. Yes, that's what I was looking for. So I need a ride to the airport. I don't mind paying a lot. I don't mind paying a lot of money. I don't mind paying too much. Excellent. Dad, can I go outside and play? And the question, Dad's question is, have you finished? Your, your homework. homework. Doing your homework. Your homework. <laughs> doing. Do you need a... <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Wendy, yes. Have you finished doing your homework? Have you finished doing the dishes? Doing your... Doing the dishes. Home chores. Home chores. Doing the dishes. Doing your homework. Uh -huh. Doing your task. Doing your tasks. Tasks. Love it. Thank you, Violeta. Uh huh. Have you finished cleaning, helping? cleaning your room? Perfect. Have you finished cleaning your room? Have you finished helping your mother? Have you finished painting your room, etc.? Great job. Why did Javier look so sad today? I think he really misses 
Oh, yeah. 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 I think he really misses kissing his girlfriend. Could be. Okay. Why did Javier look so sad today? I think he really misses living in his town. Living in his town. Perfect. Being at home. Be, no, I will say being out of the house. <laughs> no. With, with COVID-19. Having vacation. Having vacations, vacations, uh-huh. That's easy, very easy. Hey, um, look at that example. I think he really misses. Yeah, always be careful with third person when you're talking in person. Simple, okay? Good. Do you have any questions? It's clear. Teacher. It's clear, right? This is very simple, guys. You're in advance already. Yes, teacher, but the now is not in the beginner, it's in the end. Of yeah, the because sentence. here it's not working as a noun, it's working as an object. Ah, okay. okay. Uh huh. It's working as an object. Is after, uh, remember, what is the difference between a subject and an object? A subject is the doer of the action. The object is the receiver, Receive. okay. the receiver of the action. Just remember that, study that part. I think that's it on this video. Yeah, I didn't like the audio on this um, short videos. Okay, now let's finish the class. We still have some time. Let's work on comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Uh, this is a longer studying subject, but let's pay attention really quick so you can get this as well. This is like a combination. What did I push? Okay, there it is. Okay, press. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Or maybe you're considering working as a doctor or a nurse. Okay, you know what? I'll go straight to the point because you're very smart. Uh, in fact, guys, I, I really like your class because you make things easier for me. You're very clever. You're always very attentive and you know a lot. So, and you talk, which is awesome for this course the fact that you speak is amazing so we love it thank you so let's go straight to the point what profession is this number one i send you these pictures to the whatsapp group it's a lawyer a lawyer. a lawyer what's number two she's a lawyer uh-huh excellent number two and number two is a mechanic mechanic thank you mechanic number three a photographer. Reporter. model. Um, yeah, the, she's a, she's a model. She's a she's model. A model. But she he is. She's a model, uh, the other a photographer. Photographer. Okay. Photographer. 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 Yeah, photographer. yeah you can I'm say photographer. photographer. Good. I, yeah. Number I'm four. Number, number four, I don't know. I, I moved news, news presenter or a journalist, a journalist, a journalist, a teacher. Yes. He's a mm, teacher. No, manager. No, no, that's the news. That's the news. He's a journalist. Oh, the journalist. Oh, yeah, he's a fight clerk. A clerk could be. Yeah, it could be. Okay, sure, number number one. Number one could be also an attorney an attorney okay. yes yes it could be an attorney in fact to be an attorney is uh, you need to be an special how do you say this a lawyer can be a lawyer but to be an attorney you need a different process to get your your seal oh. how or do you, he is how, a banker it's como la diferencia entre licenciado y abogado no, no, no. Okay, lawyer, abogado, attorney, notario. Fiscal. Notario. Notario or fiscal. Uh -huh. But you need you need your, your seal, you know. A lawyer cannot put a seal on a legal document. 
an attorney can put it, you know, yeah. their seal on it. You got, you got it? Yeah. You yeah. Got it, right? Okay. Like Number five. Certificate. Painter. A painter. Very painter. good. What, what was number four? Number four Journal. was a journalist. Okay. Journalist. 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 Yeah, the no. news. Las noticias. Okay. No, uh, I did. Good, good. Number five. The painter. Number six. Doctor. A doctor. A doctor. Pharmacist. 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 Um, That's a pharmacist. Pharmacist. It's a pharmacist. Okay, number seven. A photographer. That's a photographer, right? That's a photographer. Yeah. So what's number three? Pilot. 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 Number three? Oh, no, number eight. Point yes, it's eight. a pilot. 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 <laughs> pilot. She's a singer. Uh, yeah, number three. It's the model. Actress. 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 It could be an actress, it could be a singer. Okay, whatever you want. Now, let's play with this information. And you need to compare. Okay? Using um, <coughs> adjectives and nouns. Let's let's take a look really quick. In the middle, we will include an adjective. Let me show you the examples. Of course, there are many more, but... So, you can have this in context. Canada. And I send you this. Look at the examples. So, working as a lawyer is more, okay, than working as a mechanic. So again, we're working with, um, working with gerunds, gerunds as subjects working, okay? But now we're comparing using adjectives. What's the adjective here? Uh, stressful. 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 Excellent. Stressful. Stressful, very good. Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. As, it's as. True. It's it is true. true. Working yeah. as a mechanic is less stressful. Listen, working as a mechanic is less stressful. Yeah. It's less stressful than working as a lawyer. Okay, working as a lawyer is an is as uh, interesting is as working as a mecha mechanic. It's <laughs> a mechanic. Now keep an eye on this, guys. There is a difference between using as. If you use as, you're comparing two things, right? Okay. Now you have is more, is less, and then is. As, 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 and that's the equity, equity comparison. Well, the equity comparison. Well, equity, equity. Okay, is the same thing. Now, interesting. Okay, exactly. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> now look at the the other examples has more education than a mechanic. A mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. Better than. Okay, working as a mechanic, he said, I got it here. Working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. Working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. Working as a mechanic isn't as heavy, isn't as heavy as working as a lawyer, I will have said, okay? Lawyer. Lawyer. It's a R, letter R at the end. I know, I know. I just paused the video, hold on. I cannot get it here. There you go. I would like for you. Okay, good. Guys, do you have any questions with comparing with adjectives? Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
It's bigger. Uh -huh, it's bigger. It's bigger. It's greater. Yes. Now, in this case, in this case, we are using, um, remember, the gerund as a subject. So let's really quick, we're still missing five minutes. So really quick, can somebody give me an example of what we just saw using a gerund at the beginning? I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the gerund, okay? Um flying flying superlative. Let's use comparatives. I think it's an iron ah. flying is better than is it gerund? Flying is better flying is than better. driving. Really? Okay, yeah. Flying driving. is better than we driving. Driving. <laughs> driving. Flying is driving. better than driving or faster than driving. Okay, very good. Yeah. Breathing is. is Let me make it more complex. Is, is more. Uh, Breathing isn't as stressful than. Okay, isn't as. Breathing isn't as, as stressful as people say. As, as people say, say. As squash TV. Max, Max. As people usually say. Max. Yes. Look. Usually, you got it. Then, as people usually yeah, say, as people as people tend to say, as people okay. usually say, as people tend to say. Good job. Okay. Uh, <sighs> Being a. Even more? Even more? Being a good person. Okay, I keep going. Know. Keep going. Being a surgeon. Being a surgeon is. is <laughs> Come on, you can do it. It has, it has dangerous. No, it's not dangerous. Well, it is dangerous for the profession, okay. but Violeta is better. Yeah. Is better paying. Being a surgeon um, is better pay than pay or paid. It's better pay than pay. Uh -huh. pay. Than teacher, uh, than teacher, yes. Than being, than being a teacher, yes, it's true. A teacher. Being a surgeon is better pay than being a teacher. True, it is true. It is true. Okay. Um, it's not just. ¿Cómo se dice? No es justo. It's not fair. Fair. Thank you. That's not fair. It's yes. not fair. Uh, well, actually it is because being a surgeon is very difficult. What is a surgeon? Cirujano. Excellent. Okay, working as a welder. What is welder? What, what is, is welder? Ah, <laughs> what is welder? Who knows that? Well, well, well I'll wait to tell you. Uh, only well air is yeah look at look at the root look for the root guys look for the root of the world well, well welding well welder welder a welder a is a profession is a person who works with iron and steel and he welds oh. pieces he puts okay. two pieces together mm -hmm. well, yeah. beautiful spanish <laughs> Uh -huh. Working as a Sorry. welder is more dangerous. Perfect, Daniela. It's more dangerous. More dangerous. 
than a teacher. <laughs> ah, come on. If you don't use a mask. Welder more. Oh, good. It's, I like that. Working as a welder is more dangerous if you don't use. Dangerous. Listen, if you don't use PPE. A helmet. A helmet. If you don't use PPE. A helmet. What is PPE? Mask. All of that. All of that ah, is PPE. Like personal, personal. Personal. Uh, uh, there's one L. One N. I'm sorry. Personal protection equipment. Some say personal protective equipment, personal protection equipment. That's PPE. Teacher. Yeah. You mean the the S? The S. As a welder, is more dangerous. Oh, thank you. The verb to be. Yeah. Thank you. It's more dangerous. A helmet. A helmet. Yeah. PPE involves. Okay, guys, I gotta go. PPE involves helmet, a vest. Do you know what is a vest? Vest, a gloves, gloves yeah. glasses, glasses, right? sunglasses. That's PPE. Okay, guys. Yes, PPE. I gotta go. Please study this topic. I will see you tomorrow okay. at eight o'clock. Okay. Me on time. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.